Hey guys, in the previous video, we learned how to read the Modbus RTU data with Python. Today, we will show this Modbus temperature and humidity data in a web browser and clone the IQWrite monitors UI in our Shipsy HMI. In the end, we will make something like this. Let's see how I did it. Firstly, we need to rotate the orientation from landscape to portrait. We first go to system display setting, set orientation from left to none, then it's portrait. But uh, wait a moment, when you touch the screen, the mouse is pointing to the wrong position. This is because even if we did rotate the display, the touch panel is still horizontal. The display panel and the touch panel are two layers. Interesting, right? To rotate the touch panel, we need to edit this file. Um, we need to comment out this 90 left block, and then we reboot the PC, then the touch panel should be portrait as well now. Secondly, let's review the Python code we wrote. Uh, in the previous video, we can read the temperature and the humidity data. Then I added a Flask web server. I also added this cross-origin resource sharing, aka CORS library. Uh, because our React app is another address in the browser, so our Flask server has to allow CORS. Then we return this mode bus data when people visit the root URL, and uh, I can run Flask run debug host to start a Flask backend server. Uh, when we curl localhost, we can get these two data. This is our backend, pretty simple, right? Thirdly, we will focus on building the UI. I will use VS Code Remote Development to connect it to our chip CHMI, and then I will preview the UI on my local browser. I used White to create a new React project, then I served the React page to allow my Mac to visit with npm run dev dash 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 host. Okay, let's try fetching the mode bus data from our Flask server. We will need to set two React states first. One is temperature and the other is humidity, so we could store the values in them. Just like we did with CURL, but uh, this time we will use React use effect hook to fetch from our Python server. We will set the temperature and the humidity when we get them from the server. Okay, then let's test the data we got. Uh, we return a simple div as our initial UI with only these two data. We can see this data on our browser now. Now we can pass the mode bus value from the sensor to our HMI. We can also change our font face now. We can download this digital 7 font on the internet and apply them to all text. The rest is more HTML and CSS styles. I am not a front-end ninja. I coded this UI in like one day. This could usually be accomplished in one to two person days. I will show you how I did this with uh, Bio CSS and uh, HTML quickly. First, let's look at the accurate monitor. We can divide this uh, UI into three parts, the upper humidity part, the middle colorful buffer, and uh, the lower temperature part. First thought is to use a flexbox with direction column to split uh, these three components. Second, let's look at the upper humidity part. We can see a three parts horizontally. On the left are two values with a border, in the middle is a big number, on the right is a percentage and a trend text with an arrow. So we can divide the humidity part with three horizontal sub-elements. We can use flexbox with default row direction and the justify content space between. For the left and the right text, we apply flex direction column to them and set the proper font size. The same is true for the lower temperature part. So we are left with the middle colorful bar. We can see these three blue, green, and red trapezoids. We could use three div with fixed width and height, then transform them with school x negative 30 degrees, and then we pull the left and right one towards the edge for a few pixels to create these two margins between the three trapezoids. Then we can set the background color to Alice Blue for the whole background. It looks better, right? Uh, let me review the code a little bit for you. We use two React states to store the temperature and the humidity data. Uh, then we use a React effect to fetch mode bus data from Python API. Uh, the screen is divided into three components, the upper humidity component, the middle colorful bar, and the bottom temperature component. 
And uh, for the humidity part, we have a vertical ranges on the left, a big uh, 46 in the middle, another vertical trend on the right. Uh, we give a status folder to the high and low value. Uh, we use a column flexbox direction to keep them vertical. Uh, we can also use CSS gradient to make these left and right white spacings. Uh, on the right is a vertical flexbox. Uh, we can see uh, if we set this font size or width uh, to test uh, what it looks like uh, when we change them uh, for a little bit. And then for the middle bar, it's actually three fixed height, fixed width diff with negative 30 point school. We can test uh, if we change the width, uh, they might overlap with each other. Uh, for the text, the end of the bar is three divs. Uh, the second div groups the 30% OK and 50% uh, together, such that they are justified with proper spacing. Uh, as for the cursor on the bar, um, it's copied from a uh, triangle CSS uh, from Stack Overflow, and uh, I gave it a absolute position relative to the middle bar. You can also change the color of the cursor if you like to play around with it. We also need to give it a larger Z index such that uh, it's on top of uh, the colorful middle bar. That's pretty much it. Due to the time limit, I can't explain too much details. Let's watch the Accurate UI clone we made on our Chipsy HMI screen. Uh, this is a glass of hot water. I put the sensor on top to give it more steam and heat. You can see the humidity is rising up quickly. There are also some bugs, like uh, the middle bar is uh, not linear, while our code assumes a linear cursor offset. And uh, we move away the hot water. We can see the humidity drops down, and uh, the middle bar cursor is moving to the left. So that's our accurate UI clone on the Chipsy HMI. If you want to learn more about electronic devices, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you next time.